I live here! Welcome back, everybody. In today's video, we'll be watching part two of Mark Manchon getting trespassed from the public building. He was acting like a complete idiot, trying to harass everybody inside, and he got trespassed and kicked out. So this is part two of the confrontation. He acts again like a big tough guy and the cops completely own him. And then he decides to call backup and send another frauditor to go harass the place. And it doesn't go well, obviously. Anyways, if you haven't seen part one, the link is in the description. That being said, enjoy the video. So here's a quick recap for people that just want to jump into part two right away. On the line at 1050 Perimeter Road in Manchester, DHHS states there's a male subject filming in Lobby 5. Um, she states they've tried to ask him to leave. He won't leave. So will I be served? Or? I'm going to assume no. You're going to assume no? Detected. You're making everyone desperately uncomfortable, and I'm okay. going to call the police, okay? Well, Did you raise your voice at all? I'm not going to answer any questions like that. Why not? Because I have a right to remain silent if I need to. I'm not going to incriminate myself. He told us that we need to finish servicing our clients because he is absolutely not leaving. We're just watching two officers there right now, okay? This is private property? No, this is actually state property. No, it's not. Okay, they own this building. Stay out of the building. No, I'll take the arrest. I have every right to go back in there. I'll take the arrest. Disorderly you know, conduct. Right to go back in there. I'm not leaving. You're not going to make me leave. Unless I'm in cuffs and you violate my rights and you're on notice, so there goes your qualified immunity. Do you have any idea on you? For what? So I know who I'm talking to? Uh, that's who I am. No, I don't. You're, you're a public servant, right. man. Move out of my way. I'm not moving out. You're going to move out of my way. I'm not moving out. Do I have to force myself by you? You are not forcing yourself. <laughs> no? Why, well, are you going to beat me up and throw no. me in the back? So that's what happened. He got removed from the building and he tried to barge into the building once again. And of course, the cops were standing around and he could not go through. Now let's get back to the video. Directing me from a public building. What department do you have questions for? What is your name? My name is Jenny Robles. Jenny Robles. And I don't authorize you to record. Well, so. you, the sergeant here could explain the okay. rights of privacy in public. Okay. Which he's actually violating right now. So. Okay, what questions do you, do you have? you have a department that you have questions for? Yeah, I'd like to go into the publicly accessible area and ask those questions. What department? With the public employee. Have, what department? What do you mean, what department? What department do you have questions? Well, first of all, I'd like to make a records request with the front desk and get everybody's names, emails, phone numbers, and uh, salary. You're not privy to that information. If you want to yes, look online, okay, then you can look online and pull that information. Well, why, you you why are you working here if that's the case? Do you have specific information that you have questions about? Yes, that I do. get someone to get you answers? Yeah, sure. DCYF, get DCYF out here. If they have time. And if they don't, I'll get you a contact number that you can reach out and to. And email. Yep. And phone number. Thank yeah. you. Yes. Yeah. And what is your name? Uh, I don't give that. It's right here. Oh, so you want everyone's name, but you don't want Yeah, to you're a public employee. Yeah. Okay. All well, your information is public. You, you have an open case. Okay. Do I have to have an open case to ask them questions? No, but if they do, they What if I want to file a report or a complaint or something? On who? Are you DCYF? Okay. Nope. Then why do I have to give that information? Okay. Let me see if anybody's available. So you're still going to restrict me from this? So it seems like Mark is determined to go through these officers and get back into this building. Even though he was explained multiple times that just wanting to record a video is not a valid reason to be in there. Yes. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the sergeant. He's in charge here, okay. along with me. I'm sure he's going to tell you the same thing. Okay. Well, let him speak for himself. He's a big boy, isn't he? Where's your vehicles? Where's your vehicles? Park in the parking lot. Park in the parking lot? Are you in a spot? Or you park like an asshole? No, you park like an asshole. You park like an asshole? They train you that in the academy? Yeah, they do. Show me off at 14, Well, as of right now, I'm going to go around the corner while I'm waiting for them. I'll go look in their windows. Now, how is he able to say that with a straight face? I'm going to go look into their windows. Like, obviously, that's peeping Tom behavior. Doesn't he realize how creepy that is?
My mere presence with the camera is not considered disorderly conduct. I know that's your go-to charge, but it's not gonna work. Oh, there they are. Let's go take a look at their vehicles. Mind if I search your vehicle? Absolutely not. No? You know what the plain view doctrine is? We're gonna exercise that today. It is locked and secure, right? I'm not gonna check, I just wanna see. I'll let you guys walk in front of me. What? No, I don't, I don't think so. I thought you were in charge. Oh, I am in charge. <laughs> hey, they're creating privacy now. See what I taught them? So I have a question to ask to all the lens lickers over there. So when you're sticking a camera in a window trying to look into private offices, isn't that super creepy? How does that have anything to do with activism or the First Amendment? They put their blinds down. You can roll your eyes all you want, dude. You're a piece of shit, huh? I haven't rolled my eyes once. You just did. Not at all. All right. I've been making eye contact this whole entire time. Yeah. Here you got. They tried. They tried sneaking up on me like I didn't know they were coming. Oh yes, he goes from lurking into windows to lurking into cars. Yeah, not creepy at all. Not creepy whatsoever. Car number 43. Guys have nothing better to do, huh? Oh, there's the call. Reporting part. Oh man, her name's Karen. Ha! <laughs> Hilarious. The calling party's name is Karen, huh? Go figure. You guys don't even know how to create your own privacy either, huh? That's horrible. Get all that private information on the screen. You guys haven't learned either, huh? Here's your supervisor's vehicle. Good walk. Back, uh, if you want to walk back over there, we can do that. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. You can walk in front of me. Why, oh, are you scared? No. Are you scared? Obviously, he's not scared, but when you're an officer, you need to keep your eyes on the suspect at all time. You don't let a suspect walk up behind you where he could easily grab your gun and then something can go wrong. And before I hear all the lens lickers say, oh no, these activists, they're not dangerous. They're pretty much sovereign citizens and sovereign citizens have shot at cops before. It's not unheard of. Almost scared. Uh, you want to get your hands out of your pocket? No. <laughs> Mind if I search your vehicle? You have anything illegal in there? And drinking on the job? Sir, can you get your hands out of your pocket, please? Can you just comply? Make everything easier for us? I know why you're not complying, sir. Uh, you don't like people walking behind you? Huh? A little fun with you. Guys are little fucking girls, huh? You scared of a guy with the camera now walking behind you? You're being on image are recorded too. Is it intimidating? I know, but yours always goes on mute or gets deleted somehow. You know? Come on, man. 
You can't stay there, huh? You got another officer right there to protect you. Let's see how you react. Come on. Let's your, put your ego away. My ego away? It's been away. I'm doing my job. <laughs> Look at you. You don't like it, do you? I won't do that to you. You do. I you guys don't. do it all the time. How do I do that all you the time? You did it over there a couple times. Not at all. Yeah. I kept you in front of me. Yeah. Just like how you're doing with me. Oh, yeah. It's called flanking. Use your own tactics against you. Great. Yeah. You ever play chess? No. Nope. You gotta be don't one step time. ahead. Maybe you're just too stupid. No, nope, not at all. Maybe you play checkers. Nope. Play checkers? I don't have time for board games. Uh -huh. Really, you do. Yep. Exercising my rights is a game now, huh? That's fine. Come on, give me a break with that exercising my rights. You are obviously not exercising your rights, you're just harassing people. This is the same guy that went to go harass the customers at a methadone clinic. Like, who does that? Is that what it is? Watch your six. Dangerous man with the camera. Manchester's finest. Why are you guys all stand like that? You guys look like chicken wings or something. Everyone, all, all of you stand like that. Why? I'm allowed to do this. I'm right. Yeah, you can. I mean, to record. I'm allowed to do this. So what's your issue? Oh, your recording is a law too. You have to follow by by that. But you have an issue with where I put my hands now? No, I think it's just funny. You're not the only police officer I've seen do that. It's fine. It's almost like all the departments do that. Are your hands out of your pocket, sir? You're not gonna sh me in the back, are you? Why don't you do it face to face? That's a ridiculous question. Do it face to face. Why? It ain't the first time you guys have done it. You guys, sh people in the back all the time. All around this country. Why are you guys any different? Boys in blue. I ain't afraid of you. Do you even know who I am? Do you know my name? Do you know my channel or anything? No. Nope. Yeah, you do. <coughs> Oh, uh, it looks like the frauditor is offended because the officers don't know him. <laughs> he just wants that attention so bad. He wants to believe that he is above the regular citizen, that he's some type of celebrity. Newsflash, nobody cares about your channel. Six feet, sir. Please don't walk into me. Not walk into me, sir. You're going to keep going or what are you going to well, do? Well, I can do whatever Where I do want. You want. Do you want to go over there? You want to go over there? I don't know. I'll go wherever I want. It's a free country, isn't it? Apparently well, not. you're going to be removed from the property here shortly. Why? Because you have no rightful business to be here. I'm exercising my First Amendment right to free press. That's a ladybug. Good thing it's not a bee. You guys told me to step outside. I stepped outside. Now I can't be over here either. You're still on, on their property? Yeah, you're it's solid. public property. They want you gone if the supervisor wants you gone. This is a, removed. This so is public property. So we're getting the documents that you want, yep. the papers that you want. Uh-huh. We'll send you anyway. Well, I'll let Maybe you know when I'm done. I can well, stay here until they're closed. Well, yeah. Unfortunately, that's not how It's public works. property. This isn't private, man. What is wrong with you? I could be here all day. See who wins. Okay. Thank you. Available for of course they're to not. To you, but you can call them. They can answer any of your questions. Relation, six, oh, three, eight, and ex uh, accept any formal complaint you have as well. Cool. Cool. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. He got his little phone number, so you would think he would leave now, right? Of course not, because these frauditors never make it easy. They want to be a pain in the ass all the way. Are you still trespassing me, Sarge? Or? You have to leave the property. Leave the property? I have to leave the property now. Yes. Why is that? You have no business. No legitimate property. So you don't, you don't see that me filming and recording on public property is not a crime? Do you not? Do you know what I mean? We've given you the information that you need. Yeah, I still, I still have, so I still point, have other questions. So at this point, they're not sir, answering any more questions. They're not going to answer any yeah, more the questions. Is finished here today. Okay. So if I don't leave the property, you're going to throw me under arrest? Yes. Um, I'm not. I'm talking to the sergeant. I'm giving you a lawful order. Leave, okay. You and, have no legitimate business. Here. Okay. What would be the crime? What would you arrest me for? Just so I know, for the record. Disorderly crime. I'm talking to the sergeant. I'm giving you a lawful order, and you refuse. To I'm not refusing to leave. I will leave the okay. property. Okay. All right. But I need to know what charges you would... So trespassing and disorderly? Disorderly conduct. And trespassing? No. Just disorderly conduct? Just disorderly conduct. I'm giving you a law for okay. to leave. All right. Huh. So where do I leave? Just get off the property. Well, I don't... Can't have, where are you going? Like over there? You want to walk sure, in the street? Stay out of the roadway. Stay out of the yeah. roadway? Okay. Yeah, but I have to... Yeah, I have to walk against traffic, right? You Is that the law? You the road and you can walk on the opposite side. 
drive her in a car? I don't answer those type of questions. Well, you probably get in a car in I don't have, I parachuted in. Yeah. Right, and yeah. Just okay. All right. We all good? Yep. Can I walk you back to your vehicles and then, uh... Please do. All right. I mean, feel safe. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. See, look, the sergeant's scared. Oh, man. <laughs> they were scared because I was standing behind them. I thought it was funny. So you guys do know this is public property, city property. You did know I have legitimate business here. I made an appointment. You guys are now threatening to arrest me you for trespassing and disorderly purpose. conduct. See, that's where we differ. We don't have a legitimate purpose. I do. My my right to film here in public is definitely legitimate. Nobody it's in that building says you have a legitimate purpose. Well, they don't determine that, sir. The Constitution does. And as long as I'm not breaching the peace, screaming, yelling, swearing, you can't charge me with any crime. You might want to look up just on conduct. I have. Okay. This clown frauditor is so confident in his ignorance, it's absolutely ridiculous. He thinks he knows more about the law than they do, but yet he keeps getting arrested. And the last case he has in Georgia, it's not going to go well for him. He will get convicted on that one. Of that, I guarantee you. I've beaten those charges several times, too. Okay. And your bullshit jaywalking and the trespassing over at the post office. Remember that? No. No? You should look into it then. I'm good. I have enough stuff to do. Yeah. Babysitting your puppies over here. You know you guys are going to get thousands of phone calls again, right? You guys know that you're gonna get thousands of emails too, right? You nope. So where is the? So that sidewalk is public, right? The sidewalk over here, or the easement? Is that what you want me? Is that the easement? Right? Easement? The easement? Yeah. So I have to go on the easement public property? No yeah, different than this building, right? Yep. Alright. Alright, sorry. Don't go back in the building. But I could stay on the property? No. I can't go on the pro when can I come back? Make an appointment. So I have to make an appointment to come back? If you have a legitimate purpose to be here, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Enjoy the phone call, Sarge. Yeah, so as you guys see, he wasn't allowed back in that day. What happened is that he sent another frauditor, another idiot. They got into an argument. But to be honest, that part of the video was pretty boring. And then after that, he made an appointment and he showed up at that specific place again. And he was acting like a complete ass. He was lurking under the blinds again. He was trying to creep out the women there. But they decided just to shut down the blinds and not address him. And eventually he left. Long story short, Mark, just like all the other frauditors, is a parasite on society. He doesn't do anything for anyone. He doesn't provide any value to society. All he does is harass people that are trying to earn a living the honest way, unlike him. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one. By the way, if you're interested in getting some awesome official Frauditor Troll merch, check out FrauditorTroll.com. The link is in the description. Frauditor Troll. I live here!